Today, I want to talk about a Blender add-on that transformed the way I use Blender in so many ways. Usually, when you start a project in Blender, most people will start thinking about modeling, texturing, UV mapping, and all the things that come with building a good-looking and detailed environment or scene. Of course, it's gonna depend on the project, but usually, a big portion of the work, I mean the work that you're gonna do, is gonna be building scenes. From this perspective, I think this add-on is the best because it provides what feels like an infinite amount of assets, textures, particle effects, trees, foliage, and so on. Even complete whole scenes. It's almost a click away from your fingertips. Of course, I'm talking about the one and only Blender Kit. I'm surprised I never talked about Blender Kit before. Actually, I did here and there, but it wasn't in depth, even though I use it lately almost every single day. So as you can imagine, they are the sponsor of this video, so I reached out for them for a collaboration just for transparency's sake. Everyone knows Blender Kit at this point. If you used Blender before, even for a short period of time, you have probably come across this amazing add-on. I had some people asking me about Blender Kit, and they are not even using Blender. But for those of you who are not familiar, Blender Kit is basically an extensive and ever-expanding asset library that can be seamlessly integrated into Blender. So all you need to do is search for the asset that you need and drag and drop it into your project. Of course, you have a lot more options, search filters, categories, and asset types, but as a function, this is the gist of it. Some of you might not know this, but we do actually have a YouTube channel about investigative stories like fraud, scam, and sometimes assassinations and so on, and we use Blender Kit all the time to tell those stories. As the schedule is tight and we can't model everything from scratch, so Blender Kit is a huge help in achieving great visuals with minimal time and effort. For instance, some of the scenes you're looking at were built in a few hours instead of a few days. Remember, here you can get materials, textures, SDRIs, and even whole scenes, as well as free and paid Blender add-ons. The library isn't just helpful, but more than that, it is actually integrated inside Blender. You don't need to download stuff and import them into Blender, because you can do everything inside the software in your 3D viewport, which makes much more sense. At the time of making this video, Blender Kit is hosting more than 37,400 models, I mean free models in addition to materials, SDRIs, and textures. So there are almost 50% of the library for free. And you can install Blender Kit right now and take advantage of these free assets. I mean, you have absolutely no reason not to do so. Of course, they do offer a premium subscription. And for a $9 per month, you get access to a full 72,000 assets which are available if you join the subscription. Which is really not that much if you use Blender daily. The library is constantly growing with new assets which are added almost daily. Not to mention you are supporting the creators as part of the money goes to support open source development. If you are curious about the exact number of assets and the breakdown of each tier, then for the free plan you will access 14,700 models, around 90,000 materials, 653 scenes, around 2200 HDRIs, more than 850 brushes, and 200 megabytes of private storage, but registration is voluntary for this tier. For the full version, as I said before, it will set you back $9 per month, and you will get access to the full library, which includes almost 42,800 models, around 19,000 materials, 2,370 scenes, around 4,200 HDRIs, 3,800 brushes, and 2 gigabytes of storage, and even free and paid add-ons. And for the studio version, which can be accessed by 5 employees or income more than $100,000 per year, it will cost you $25 per month, with everything in the premium tiers in addition to 100 gigabytes of private storage. Also something I absolutely like about Blender Kit is that you can add your own assets, like models and materials, to the library and earn money from the people using them. They have a rating system based on the quality of the assets itself and how many people are using it, and depending on that, you will get compensated, even if the asset is offered for free. Because when adding your asset to the library, you can choose whether to offer them for free or not. So as an end user, if you want to support an artist, it doesn't matter if you use the free assets, it still counts towards his credit. 
If you want to learn more about how you can submit your work, I mean submit it to the library, you can visit blenderkit.com slash become creator. And in this page, you can see all the details. So enough talking and let's see what's under the hood. As you can see, everything here is self-explanatory. From the left, you have these five icons for isolating different types of assets, like models, materials, scenes, HDRIs, and even brushes. On the right, you can see a bookmark symbol. For this one, you're gonna have to log in or create an account and log in to BlenderKit. What the bookmark feature allows you to do is simply a place to save your favorite assets. Right after that, you have the category list. These categories are extensive with even subcategories to further isolate exactly the kind of assets that you're looking for. Finally, in the search filter option, here you can do a lot of, well, filtering. You can only filter free assets and pick an asset style, so we've seen type, category, and now it's style, such as realistic, anime, 2D vector, and so on. You can also isolate geometry nodes assets only, and filter the results based on the poly count, texture resolution, file size, condition, license type, and even the Blender version used for the assets. This is just a lot of filtering options that I don't think I've seen on any similar add-on or asset library. And yes, I might not need all these filters, but guess what? If I ever needed animated assets or quality level, I have the option right here. The rest is just searching for whatever you want and dragging and dropping them into your project. You will see a green placeholder outliner with a loading animation to see exactly the progress of your download. Something else that I forgot to mention, you can right click any asset to bring up the full selected asset details. With a full description, license, real size, face count, and the author details, as well as options to bookmark the assets or search for similar assets. At the bottom you have the rating section. Here you can support your favorite artists by submitting a rating for them in this section, and even post a comment for the artist. So in conclusion, Blender Kit is great. It's probably one of the best Blender add-ons out there. Certainly one of the most useful and time-saving. It has everything you need in an asset library, an extensive list of assets, an awesome search engine, and a great community as well. Right now I think there are 1.4 million registered users, which is just a lot. So if you like to use BlenderKit for free, click the first link in the description and start using BlenderKit right now. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.